Finally, the moment you've been waiting for, veal in India. Let's try it out. Last time, the best ever India road trip explored one of India's mega kitchens in Bangalore. Beyond it just being a large volume, like this smells incredible. Today, we're making our way east to the coastal city of Chennai. We are officially in the south of India. Different language. Oh, they don't know what I'm in here. Different clothes. Wow, this is a more fancy one. And different food. What the? <laughs> Including India's most controversial food, beef. 20 out of 29 states in India currently have regulations prohibiting either the slaughter or sale of beef. How do some people react when they see people eating beef in India? Yeah, they're offended. So how will the internet react when I try this dish for the first time? Along the way, we'll get to know the local people and the local food of Chennai. Yes, it's nice and steamy. Yeah, <laughs> look at it, she's doing the dance. And take on the best balls in town. You can smell that mutton. I smell the mutton. So throw on a lungi and meet me at the beach. Today, we're taking on street food in Chennai. Right now, we're in the middle of Bangalore and Chennai. We're on the lookout for interesting food, people, whatever we can find. And I spotted something over here. That was it. Did you, the van or the coconuts? There you go. <laughs> The further south we go, the more abundantly clear it is why India is the third largest coconut producer in the world. This superfood finds its way into more and more southern dishes, and it all starts in places like this. Guys, he's got a steel spike right here sticking out of the ground. He puts his weight into it, but you gotta be careful. Like one wrong step, you lose your balance through the heart. Can I help you? Me. <laughs> he's like, hey, kid, I got real work to do, so, yes? Oh, it's sharp. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. He's already like, get the F out here. <laughs> A little bit. Yes? No? That's how you husk a coconut, guys. Pretty self-evident, pretty easy. You just push down as far as you can. When you feel the metal hit your sternum, you went too far. These guys take on Southern India's brutal heat, processing coconuts from beginning to end. Oh, he's got a coconut chair. Look at this, two, one for each cheek. Finally, break time. A chance to load up on sugary, artificially colored fizzy drinks and samosas. Hello, Raya. What are you oh, selling you today? Samosa. I was just wondering. Can we turn that off? Oh, that's much better. Luckily, we also caught the samosa man on his daily route. Speakers blaring, inviting all to come get a taste. We got some vegetable samosas. Everybody's getting some. Quick little snack break. Let's try it out. Oh, that's legitimately delicious. Not overly seasoned, not overly salty. Nice and crispy. It's a little beany inside too. But yeah. Oh, they don't know what I'm in here. I thought, honestly, like, oh, we're just gonna hand them all out. But we hardly put a dent in his stock. He has so many in here. Okay, sir, thank you. Samosas, very delicious. We're going to Chennai. Everyone say, Chennai! Chennai! Hey! Let's go! Chennai, one of India's major ports and the fourth largest city in the country. People all over from Tamil Nadu, they, they come to Chennai and then Chennai has all the flavor from all the uh, cities in Tamil Nadu. This is Irfan, a food lover and a YouTuber, documenting his adventures full time for the last two years. Usually in Southern Indian, we eat a lot of spices and also we add uh, more of coconut in our diet. It's more spicy than the North? Yes. The North is already pretty spicy. With his local expertise, he'll guide me to some of Chennai's most unique food, starting off here. Not far from the city center, tucked away behind some residential buildings, I get my first real taste of local life in Chennai. 
When people doesn't get water from the underground, we get the water from this truck. So this truck will come every day. Ladies start the day by collecting water from a government water truck. This is an essential daily routine here. Drinking water. Yeah, they use this for drinking as well. They should boil it before they drink it? Yes, obviously. Between the buildings, in a dusty courtyard, and just beyond the goats, you'll find one resident's temporary weekly kitchen. I found out we're actually lucky to be here today. It's Sunday, they only make this on Sundays. Yes. But what are they making? It's called atlapam. It's Atla. like little pancake made with rice flour. You will uh, not find anywhere in Tamil Nadu, or like even most of the people in Chennai doesn't know that this exists. I love it. Thank you for having us here today. Your food looks stunning, it looks beautiful. Once a week, she wakes up at 2 a.m. to start her food prep. Her homemade bread will travel to a market later that day and modest profits will support her and her husband. Take an oiled pan and add batter from rice flour, semolina, cardamom, coconut, egg, gram flour, and sugar. Yes. Oh, that is a thick batter. Then add some more whisked egg on top. Garnish with a few coconut pieces, cashews, and raisins. But the coolest part is her cleverly engineered clay oven. In each clay pot, there's a bit of sand to help diffuse the heat and to put these little cake tins on. Then she puts it inside, puts another clay pot on top to kind of seal it up. How long is that going to cook? It'll take somewhere around like five to 10 minutes. I was going to say, I can't wait to try it, but actually there's a basket behind us that's just full of these, so. In my hands, through the newspaper, it's still very warm. By the way, what is on here? Are these some movies coming yes. out? Oh, Aquaman. Aquaman. Did you see Aquaman? Party like this, but I'm back like, no. He is the ocean master, but right now, I'm the Atlapa master. Oh, look at this, yes. It's nice and steamy, yeah. <laughs> look at it, she's doing the dance. It is very firm, dense, kind of bready texture in the middle, egg on top. Let's go for it. Mmm, that's yummy. Mm. It's very thick. I love the crunch, bready texture. Do people ever eat this with butter or jam or anything like that? Just plain. Yeah. So American, we're like, we need to put more butter on this. Mmm. So far on my journey, I've had so many strong, powerful flavors, spices, spicy food. This is just, it's quite mild. It has a bit of a, like a French toast kind of flavor to it almost. It's a nice contrast to a lot of the food we've had so far in India on this trip. Some of the gentlemen here have kind of a towel that they wear. What is that called? That is called lungi. Lungi? Yes. Can I wear a lungi? It can go long and flowing, or you can bring it up in case you've got to move quickly, jump on a bike, jump on a horse, maybe. It looks like a great way to survive the oppressive heat and increase air circulation. Don't, ma'am. Ma'am? <laughs> If you come to Chennai and say the magic words, Trouser Kadai, just about every local can tell you where to go. This brave man chose to have pants with two legs and not the lungi like I have. <laughs> How long have you had this restaurant? Oh, 42 years. 42 years? Yes. That's amazing. Same same oven? Yes. Wow. It's really worn in. It looks very nice. I like it. This is Rajendra, owner of the restaurant Trouser Kadai. 73 years old, but still keeping an eagle eye on each food as they prep for lunch. The trouser shop. Do people come here looking for pants ever? <laughs> no, he only wears trousers. He doesn't wear anything. Oh! Up. <laughs> now I finally get it. We got a beautiful shot of him cooking and the firelight reflecting in the glistening surface of his bulbous stomach. Do you see the shot right now? It's beautiful. Trouser Kadai is all about substance over style. This is not fancy, this is not fine dining. Yet each day at noon, locals of all backgrounds line up for the privilege of dining inside this cozy room and wrapping their mouths around a mutton ball or two. This is brilliant, man. We've got balls, we've got shrimp, potato, and then in the middle here we have the mutton curry. Shall I? Yeah, please, show me the way. You pour some, when you dig it, you just, you know. You start massaging it, yeah. working it around. <laughs> Mixing it, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, God, it's hot. Strong mutton flavor, very spicy, like chili oil kind of spicy. Next, prawn masala. Mmm, the shrimp are really good and crazy spicy. It's like automatic heartburn inside here. The shrimps want to swim back upstream, but I won't let it happen. And then, sheep brain. They say the more wrinkles that are in a brain, the smarter you are. You know, there's more neural pathways that are firing off more memories, and this will be a nice memory right now for me. 
Mmm, super fatty and livery. What animal is that? Sheep. Mm. I like sheep. You like sheep? Yeah. I like sheep too. Finally, the mutton balls. Made from a mixture of minced mutton, onions, grated coconut, cumin seeds, roasted garam masala, red chili powder, turmeric powder, and salt. Oh, it makes a great sound. Yeah, listen to that. It's like muddy footsteps through the rain. Once it's smashed into a paste, ball it up and fry until cooked all the way through. I'm gonna try to break it open. Ooh. You can see the vegetables inside. You can see the really pounded minced mutton, very fried on the outside. Here we go. Mm. Like little gamey mutton hush puppies. Oh, don't use your left hand. Oh, don't, stop on your left hand. You can smell that mutton. I smell the mutton. It's really good. Very mutton. It's a very clean taste though. Mmm. All dry, crunchy on the outside. Nice, clean, mild mutton flavor. It's nothing too intense. It's a nice blend of like intensity and then a little more mild. So from here, we're gonna get beef. Yeah. It is nighttime. We've come to this brand new destination. Where are we? This is a place called Dasha Makan. This place is like very good place to go and have beef in Chennai. Some say Indians worship cows. This is something I've never witnessed. It may be more apt to say cows are revered in India. It's a similar type of reverence Westerners have for their dogs. How do some people react when they see people eating beef in yeah, India? Yeah, they're offended because of their religion. So that's the bit of an issue for uh, people to eat beef here. In India, cows are allowed to roam free in the city. In the US, it's normal to pick up a steaming pile of your pet's poop. And as it turns out, both cultures really hate it when you eat the animals they revere. What's this one? Veal. Veal? Yeah. This is the last place I expected to see veal. As far as I understand, beef is prohibited, right? Yeah, in some places, yes. But here, yeah, good, good to go. Yeah. How long have you been selling veal? 40 years. 40 years? 40 years. That's incredible. The whole point of the show is just document life as it exists. Yes. And evidently it's been existing this way for 40 years, 40 years. here. He's been selling it without an issue. Yes. That being said, it looks stunning. Beef kebab, grilled veal, steak, beef stew, this guy will not let you down. It looks delicious and it's just huge quantity. So what are we gonna get from here? Uh, we're gonna get some kebabs and we're gonna get some veals and steak. I swear, veal, it's the last thing I thought I would eat in India, but let's try it out. First, kebab made from minced beef with a spice blend of red and green chili, garlic, turmeric, and their own masala, roasted over an open fire. Here we go, we've got the beef skewer, we got the veal. Let's start with this, we'll work our way up to the veal. It looks nice, it looks like a little roasted sausage, kind of. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm, <laughs> very juicy. I thought it might have been simple, but no way. Like these are real Indian spices mixed with this beef. I think 20% of this is just composed of ginger and garlic. I can eat this all day. Me too, I really I, like that. I love beef, yes. Let's just jump into this right here. Veal in India. Let's try it out. What? <laughs> it's been marinating for like 12 days. It's so juicy, so moist and tender. It's fun to chew into. Look at the proud owner over here, Kai. Yes, really good. There's one more food Irfan insists I try. India palm curry beef with steamed netted rice batter. On the tawa, there's a netted rice, rice steamed. Flour. And so he puts three of these on the plate and he'll put the beef curry on top. Oh, okay, to the side a little bit. He played me. He played me, sir. A little bit of onion. That looks stunning. In Vietnam, they have something very similar made from rice flour. It's a rice blanket. If you were like a little mouse, how much would you love to sleep with this and then wake up and eat it in the morning. Who knew I would find some insane similarity to Vietnam here in <laughs> Chennai, right? That's great. Actually, this uh, doesn't go only with beef. You can eat with chicken or you can eat with mutton. Yeah, as well. it's bread gloves. Take a look at this, guys. Saturated beef, warmed up and heated up from the tawa, just nestled inside a little bed of this intertwined steamed rice flour deliciousness. Are you ready? Yep. Mmm, that's very nice. Very fatty, a little on the salty side, but the flavor is overall very good and nicely paired with the idiopum to kind of cut the salt, to cut the fat a little bit. Here, check out this food science. A little onion on there, drape the whole thing, scoop it up. What do you think of my style so far? You have to put the whole thing in the mouth. Oh yeah? Yeah, shall we try? Yeah, <laughs> we shall. <laughs> whole thing, yep. one shot, Yeah. here we go. 
Mm -hmm. That is a mouthful. Bro, this is kind of the perfect late night food. Imagine you're working hard all day, it's nighttime, you stroll through this food alley, and then you just get some nice, delicious, rich, heavy morsels of beef. It's a treat. Next time on the Best Ever India Road Trip's grand finale, I team up with YouTube sensation Village Food Factory and learn how they went from broke to balling, racking up over 500 million views. Right now, Village Food Factory is getting their thumbnail, and Daddy is with the lamb. Be sure to subscribe and follow along as we eat our way across India. What a night and a day it has been. Irfan, thank you so much for this amazing experience. Thank you for coming to Chennai and uh, trying out cuisine. Check out his YouTube channel. He's doing reviews in Chennai, but also all over India. And for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Trang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. peace. Ah, whoa, that was Explosive. You hit your cue though, that was good. <laughs> All right, more beef or different animal? Maybe, Maybe. yeah.